June 21, 11.37 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, no three. Why are you laughing? Uh, because 1137 is close to 1337, which is lead. Jeremy, cut it in. June 21, 11.37 a.m. District Court, Court... Oh, jeez. Defendant Lobby, no three. Now's the time to restart if you want to try again. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, cut that out. Phew, that was a close one. I know you're giving your, your all to defend me, but I could feel the death penalty hanging in the air. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, Resistance is going to kill Maya. <laughs> the judge has to do it personally. That's why he's so aloof. It's just like all the repressed trauma. That's why there aren't any other judges. He just he killed them all. Yeah, he is the judge and the jury. It would lead us to believe that he's also the executioner. Yeah, that's true. Anyway. Huh, I felt like I was pretty close to dying myself. You were wonderful out there. You listened carefully, made theories, and tricked everyone into believing you. Uh, thanks. Oh, wait, tricked? That must be the lawyer's secret technique, right? Flying? By the way, uh, is the next witness who I think it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of heart. Oh, uh, guess there's no escaping her, huh? Remember, Nikki, you promised you'd save me. If you lose, me and my sister's ghost will come after you and haunt you. Your sister? Um, are you talking about Mystic Maya? <laughs> no, I'm talking about Mystic Mia. Uh, you do remember her, Pearly. It's a hard eye! <laughs> <laughs> my sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh, I didn't know that. June 21. 11.43 a.m. District Court, courtroom no two. Oh, we're so freaking oh, wow. reckless. Oh, my God. Court will now reconvene. Now, the first order of business. Ow! I don't want to hear it, old man. After I called my witness, sit there and quietly... Stay quietly and watch like a good little boy. Uh, yes, sir. Bring in the photographer who witnessed the channeling. Wait, what the hell is this, Stuart? Where did you find this? <laughs> My cat just brought me, a, like, a rusty-ass, like, razor blade. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's not a razor blade, but it's got, like, that shape. Dude, it's so rusty. Where is this from? <laughs> Stop chewing on my things. What? Answer my questions, damn it. Witness your name and occupation, if you please. Oh, sorry. And I'm talking to you, Stuart. <laughs> Hey, Phoenix, how you doing? Uh, uh, just fine. Sorry about this. Didn't exactly have a choice, you know. <laughs> Yowza! Name and occupation. I declare, what in tarnation? Hey, Judge, there's some violence against my fair self. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> True. I condone violence, Doctor. <laughs> That's fine. That ain't fine. That's a whip. There's no need for foolish outcries from foolish, you foolish fools. Just hurry up and testify about what happened on the day of the murder. I hope that line sounds better in Japanese. <laughs> nope. Than foolishly foolish fools. I haven't even gotten to say my name at job yet. Hmm. Dots. The name's Lyle to Heart, paranormal photographer, and I am here to testify. Now, now, let's all be one big happy family, okay? <laughs> Wait, this is a camp. Only the doc and the defendant went into the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door and then bang, we hear the gunshot. Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down and we rushed into the room. Inside was the dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. Did you take a picture of the scene right after the murder took place? Reckon course. That, that's not a real word. Huh? Uh, excuse me? Reckon course. It's short for, you reckon? Of course I did. Okay, good. I thought that they were just making up, like, southern words. <laughs> ah! Does it look like I care? Just hurry up and show your picture to the court. The moment of truth. 
what will be in that picture? Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, this is the picture. Bang. You are dead. Mmm! It would certainly seem that only the defendant and the victim were in that room. Is this victim and the defendant in the room with us right now? Yes. Lada's photo was added to the court record. Are you venting Mr. Phoenix fight? I will clear all doubt about Maya through this cross-examination. Just watch me. I guess we will. Okay, so we got... Wait, this is a camp. Um... I didn't Only document. see anything objectionable. So, should we just press these? Yeah. Alright. Was it really only those two that went in? Objection. What are you blabbering about? You were there too, were you not? <laughs> Ugh. Why don't you answer that yourself? Was it really just the two of them? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Dr. Gray and Maya were the only two that went in the room. Uh, hold on! We can't have the defense testifying against its own client! Anyway, folks, the only two of them that went in the channel and chamber, you hear? But you knew that from the very beginning, didn't you? Fitness, continue. Okay, all right. Wait outside. We were waiting outside and we heard a bang. We hear this gunshot. Was it really a gunshot? Objection. <laughs> Are you insane? You must have heard that it's bell. <laughs> Irk. Why don't you testify for the court, Mr. Felix Fight? Was it really a gunshot? Uh, yeah, I, I think it was something that sounded like a gunshot. And why are we here listening to the defense testify? And the world becomes just a little crueler. I heard a gunshot a long time ago, so I know. I'll tell you, it was a gunshot I heard. Now this, this is where the story heats up. See? <laughs> just a lawyer there broke down the door. How the fuck did I do that? <laughs> Let me get this straight. This Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down? Honestly, Mr. Phoenix Wright, why don't you tell us what happens then? Um, yeah. Miss Von Karma, I broke the door down. Sorry. Why does this feel like an inquisition? No need for apologizing. That was great. You're a real man. Oh, really? That's something I would have liked to see. The judge is smiling rather openly. I think that is a good sign. And what did you see once you broke in? Inside was the dead victim. The defendant. <laughs> <laughs> True. Are you sure it was the defendant, Maya Faye? Sure, I'm sure. Lana seems awful confident in her testimony. Press harder. Yeah. Lana, please think back to that day one more time. What, what you getting at? Remember what you said when we broke into the room? I do not. I was Not at a time like this. These are the perfect first having up shots. But anyway, what's going on here? My gal, is she Maya? When you saw the murderer at that time, you couldn't even tell if it was Maya Faye or not. Am I correct? Um, well, e you see? I mean, wow, I can easily tell her personally. I think we're sure. Order! Miss Hart, you are here to present accurate testimony. Uh, yeah, sorry. Good. The shift's things back to my side. For a defense lawyer, your defense is terribly lacking, Mr. Phoenix Wright. With this, think back to when those two entered the channeling chamber. And they entered? One of those people that entered the chamber was Maya Faye, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was Maya that went in. Mmm! It looks like we've come to a collective conclusion. The person in this picture is most certainly Maya Faye. Exactly. Rats. 
and I'm trapped like one. Again. Me when I'm trapped like a rat. Classic rat trap. Press it. Are you absolutely certain of that? Sure am, but that old witch chased us out of the room, so... Old witch? Does she mean Morgan Fay? There was no one else in there, and you know it. Channeling chamber was very dark. Almost pitch black. Was there really no one else in there? What about... Behind the folding screen? Yeah. They are in the floors. <laughs> uh, true. What about behind the folding screen? Did you check back there? Wreck given. <laughs> huh? What? Wreck given, you know? You reckon? That's a given. It took me a good look around the room once. Ain't no way gonna be hanging behind the, the folding screen. Mmm. If I may have a word with you, Miss Hawk. Wh what? You got a problem? Wreck given. <laughs> I mean, I'm having a little difficulty in understanding you. It sounds like he understands her just fine. He would stop saying such things as wreck and given and... That was ah! Mr. Phoenix fight. Do you see a problem with the testimony or don't you? Arg. Just as I thought. There's nothing wrong with her testimony. I was with her, so I know she's telling the truth. Enough! It seems that there are no more issues with Miss Hart's testimony. And the longer this goes on, the more I get hit with that whip. <laughs> That's a time it's about crime. time to say nay-nay to this case. <laughs> Shut up. Only two people And I'm not talking about willpowers. It's a channeling chamber. The victim, Dr. Turner Gray, and the defendant, Maya Faye. All the times. Okay. Mm. The face of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. However, if we think about the circumstances, it would have to be the defendant. What am I going to do? Even if I just let this go. What is it, Mr. Wright? You look as if you have something to say. I make one wrong move. I'm going to have the judge against me. Is there anything else that uh, that would present itself that I can prove that Maya's not in the photo? Yeah. Hold on. Hold okay. on. Yeah, let's, let's take a look. Um, can we look at the photo? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just, I mean, if you pull it up from the oh. court record. No, you're right, you're right. Because right, then right. it won't have the things. Okay. So, she's standing on the wrong side of him, right? For all of this to go on. We can't see the bottom right side of the folding screen in this current layout where the right. bullet hole is. That doesn't prove that Maya Faye is not in the photo. I'm just, these are just like issues. Why is the photo in black and white? Um, why is Maya so tall? Uh, your stature changes when you're channeling someone. Yeah. Um, uh, his shoes are gone. But that's probably fine. Um, this is all ploy to There's the shoes. knife. Uh, probably in him, I assume. It's really that the police got it. Yeah. Candlelight. I'm not seeing anything there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, Maya's costume, clothes is wearing Maya. Yeah, can you check this? It looks like what she's wearing. Yeah, that's. That's what she's wearing. Yep. Um, can't if they got it off of her. Um, her fingerprints. Her, her fingerprints. Doesn't help. Just have a, a shot at point blank. She's really far away. I That's mean, That's not proving that Maya yeah. isn't it. That's yeah. what we're proving. Yeah. Nope. 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 Okay. I, I think we can't present anything. It's only a one bar penalty. Yeah. So let's, let's yeah. do it. Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, nothing, Your Honor. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You really should give up trying to prove this is not my affair. I didn't say anything about giving up. I just don't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. That's enough! Is this it? Is this all I could do? 
I think it's quite obvious to this court that a, vil a verdict of not guilty is not possible. I told you. Totally 100% impossible. Miss Von Karma, do you have any further questions for this witness? Having established the, the defendant's guilt, further questioning won't be needed. What about the defense? No further questions, I presume. I, I couldn't protect Maya. The, the defense... The, the defense... <laughs> Phoenix... Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face. A lawyer, some new smiles, no matter how bad it gets. Ooh. Like All Might. Mia! <laughs> You're the All Might. Oh, wait, that's this case? Okay, I was. I spoiled this case. I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? Y you? But, but pearls! Her clothes are a bit small. Anyway, uh, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> But, but how? She's already taken away every advantage. The advantage is still in your hands. Think carefully one more time about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? No. Dr. Gray! <laughs> Ghost <Ooh>. click. <laughs> what? Ghost click again. Oh, there's a second picture. Oh, right. Look, oh, yeah. At a time like this? Oh, yeah. Time like these are perfect for snapping up shots. Yeah. You see, there is one final piece to this puzzle. Mia. Question Lotta one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it unconsciously or on purpose, but she's not testifying truthfully. <laughs> now then. This court would like to end the cross-examination period. Lana's just unconsciously a lying prick. Figured it out. Yeah. Hold it! Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination has already ended. Furthermore, any unrelated- It's ah! fine. I'll allow another, another testimony. Avon Commerce case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. And for the better times in this is for you to see that. But, but I mean, I have some place I must go after this. Ah! <laughs> All right. I'll allow it. Bro, he's trying to get lunch with Gant. Hey there, Rhino. Can you uh, wrap this case up a little cleaner? <laughs> Miss Hart, please hurry and give us another testimony. Well, heck, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more what happened when you burst in the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. See, you got through to the judge somehow, right? <laughs> well, actually, it was Von Karma's whip that got through to him. Do you think the other Von Karma whipped Judgey? No, I think he's too refined. Right. When we broke into that room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was, uh, was kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. But I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take a shot. A shot? Nothing sounds different than before. Some parts of her testimony were very vague. I should press her on those sections. Struggle all you like as you taste the bitterness of your defeat. Well, amuse me with your useless questions, Mr. Phoenix Fight. I'm waiting. Wait, this is count part two. I think we just press the, the one shot thing. Or a shot. Um because because we think it was two. Yeah. Two, right? Two two what? Two shots. You took two shots. But only one has been submitted as evidence. Miss Hart, where is the other picture you've been withholding? Oh, wow. Oh, I can't wait, believe she's I... unconsciously lying to the courtroom. I think she's no, no, lying. no. You've got it all wrong. It's not me. I didn't mean anything bad. I know I can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Oh, well, at least she knows herself. Then why have you not shown this other picture to the court yet? Well, ain't it obvious? That prosecutor woman told me to shut my trap about it. <laughs> what? What? 
V. Von Karma. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's Was the it? meanest woman I can think of in this courtroom. Sure. She's the only prosecutor woman. Miss Von Karma. You're, you're hiding critical evidence. Unforgivable, Von Karma. Suppressing evidence like this. You're as bad as your father. Leave it to the judge. F a frenzy ska. Yeah, let's. Confronta frenzy ska. Your Honor, the defense asked that Prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt no, of okay, court. Okay, we're finally doing something about it. Hmm. Well, yes. Ah. Me in contempt of court. You can't be serious. But you had evidence from the court on purpose. That's. That's. That's not fair. <laughs> Phoenix, are you a lawyer or a school child? I'm so angry, I lost my, compos my composure. It's Von Karma. Would you care to explain yourself to this court? I thought this picture was not important, and thus felt no need to submit it. That's all. How? How could you think? The pictures were more or less the same, so why bother with this the second? I mean, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. More trouble than it's worth? How? How can you say that? If you want to see it that badly, I'll submit it. I do want to see it. Modest photo at two added to the court record. Uh, what? What is? What is this picture? It's obviously it's the second picture the witness took that day at the scene of the crime. Well, it's a little off center, but that's what you get a bit a nervous amateur. Um, I, I think the important point here is that the person in this picture is most definitely not my affe. Yeah. Oh, know. wow. Yeah, that's true. Arguably, arguably. Big. I don't know. It could be, could be. I can't what really see it. What is the meaning of this? This might be the break I was looking for. Now, should I or should I not insist that the person in this picture is not Maya? Um, well. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, nah, let's okay, just drop let's it. Look, Whatever. Look at, look at picture two, too, right? That could be Maya. But what if it's not Maya? Because she knows about the, the channeling tech. I mean, it's stupid. We're going to work against this. It's not Maya, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Your Honor! As you can plainly see, the person in the picture is not Maya Faye. Uh, y yes! I see that! It's not just her face. Her whole body is taking on a different appearance. Like this girl next to me right now in the courtroom. Don't look at her. Yeah, don't we? There's only one conclusion that can be drawn then. That somehow this other person snuck in and traded places with the defendant. That yeah, seemed incredible. Wow, isn't it the point of a triant challenging? It, they were uh, on the floors. Order! 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 Well, yes, I believe that you are correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the channeling chamber was not Maya Faye. Mia, yeah, we did it. You're too soft. Huh? You're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at Prosecutor Von Karma's face. Is she... she's smiling? I think you had better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix, right? Miss Von Karma! What did you mean by that? Your Honor, I would like for you to take a look at this piece of... Uh, at this picture. What piece of evidence? I stuck in a, a secret shop in the detention center, I guess. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright and the defendant, Maya Fay, during his visit. Maya Fay? What? Isn't this a totally different person? Shut it. She looks this way because she's obviously in the middle of channeling a spirit. I don't believe in that. What? Isn't that that's just a ghost crap. It's unbelievable that she can... Uh, yet it is the truth. When Maya Fey is in that state, she physically changes into the person she's calling. Uh, no, That's uh, ridiculous. I can't believe we're going to put this in court. Wow. Miss Von Karma, sidebar, please. Mia! Taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Surely you must know that that picture can't be submitted as evidence. Obviously, I know this picture is illegal. But I never intended to submit it as evidence in the first place. What is she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine. 
That's After all, presenting that's evidence. <laughs> this image has now been forever burned to the judge's mind. <laughs> Looking a little too I, I don't closely. Even have a single witty line. It looks like we've been had. Fly the coop. I don't claim to understand this, and I still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person, this person is the defendant, Maya Faye? I give up here, the trial will end. But if I slip up and say something wrong, it will cost me. Is there any way I can prove that the person in this picture is not Maya? Ah, uh, okay. Um. Um. Take a look. Again. Where's the bullet hole in the sleeve? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can prove it, you stupid baby. Your honor? Oh, the fire has returned to your eyes, I see. That's what I say to my lover. <laughs> this voice. picture. Yes. I, I use the judge's voice in the bedroom as frequently as I can. <laughs> Like, oh, yes, that's great. I love what you're doing. We should do this more often. Lunch next time? Yes, your honor. <laughs> Within this picture lies a critical contradiction of the testimony to, wait, to all the testimony up until now. A contradiction? So you think you've spotted a problem if it's this picture? It's in on your keep. Why don't you point out exactly what is so strange in this picture for the court? I think it's supposed to be that sleeve, yeah. Whoa. Please direct your attention here. The, the sleeve? But, but there isn't anything odd about it. And that's exactly what is so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Should be there? Oh! There is a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in this picture as well. I don't know. Wow, that's a good point. The done oh that. my god, Lotta's still there. <laughs> yeah. Miss Von Karma! You! You intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence? And presented no. illegal photos as evidence? No. You will most certainly be designed a penalty for this. All right, this should do some major damage to our argument. Don't celebrate yet. You like to bring down the mood, don't you? Take a look at Miss Von Karma's face. Arg! She's got that condescending grin plastered all over her face again. Tisk tisk jumping the gun again, I see. Your honor. I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. Oh, what do you mean? And what incompetent fools? If those fools down at the precinct haven't missed the bullet hole. I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I could not have known that this picture was of any value to this, this case. Hmm. I see. She's lying through her teeth. I know it. That woman knew about everything. The bullet hole, the picture, everything. But you can't prove that. Franziska von Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honor, you need not worry. He must assign a penalty or personally make sure that the detective gets what's coming. I'm sure there will be a great ganashing of teeth as his next salary discussion. <laughs> ganashing. Ganashing. Yeah. Poor Gumshoe. In any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in its sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. The judge is confused by this strange twist of events. Thanks, this is your chance, Phoenix. Load all you've got into this one shot, all right? Got it. Watch this, Maya. It's backflips. <laughs> it's a bottle flip. <laughs> yeah, watch this shit. <laughs> your honor. <laughs> it's whipped midair. There is only one logical explanation for this contradiction. Um, the shooter, the shooter is, someone, is else. someone else. The defendant's sleeve had a bullet hole in it. 
However, this person clearly does not. There can only be one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. F what? Uh, I don't know. No. No. Yeah, great. No, order! 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 If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial. Oh god! Ow! Stop! Why me? The defense's the defense's argument is a complete mess. A complete mess? I fail to see how. Please, enlighten us. Hey, witness. Ah! What the heck? Is that any way to ask a gal a favor? Be quiet, you. You were the one who says it was only the two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know. If you were lying, I swear that my whip will be the last things you see. <laughs> well, look, sis. You're looking mighty scary, so why don't we just say that you... Ah, why, why? I swear, I wasn't lying or nothing. There wasn't anyone else in there, honest. You'll see, now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix Fight. Where did the, the defender vanish to? <laughs> I'm the Riddler, baby. And where did the other woman appear from? <laughs> um, why is it lately? All I want to do is cry. True. That, that, that's the seasonal depression. It's because he lost his parents. He just found out he's an orphan. He's Batman. Well, if the person in this picture is not the defendant, then this poses two very big questions. First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? That's right. Now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Come on, you can't fall apart here, Phoenix Wright. I can't believe that even Mia is calling me by my full name. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> but I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Or do you think you'll have enough in you to turn things around even now? To turn things around? That's his, like, sleeper agent word. <laughs> Everything went black. That's right. Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Phoenix, this wall's looking pretty... pretty <laughs> yellow. So, where did this intruder look appear from? And where did Miss Maya appear... disappear to? Miss Maya. Sorry, Maya, Mystic Maya Faye disappeared too. <laughs> Thank you. I need to look at this situation from a different angle. Let's see. What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had left the room somehow? If I could just prove that either one of those conditions were true. Mr. Wright, let's hear what you have come up with. I think that happened before we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Is... Uh. So, okay. Talking it through, right? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Morgan Le Fay mm -hmm. went in and told everybody else to get out afterwards, right? Yes. So, like, we went in there, got a couple pictures, and then basically left immediately. And then all of a sudden, cops show up, and it's Maya. Yes. The doc. Um. She locked the so, door with this. Which... Wait. Which there's multiple of. She yes. couldn't have because Maya had the key. But then also, Pearl had the key. Yeah, so there's probably multiple? Yes. Okay, but our three options is that a third person entered the room before we came in. Maya had left, or I don't know. So, a third person have had to have been in the room at some point in time, right? Yes. Maya. So wait. We Lada said that she checked behind the screen, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's the only time she would have been able to do that is after the murder took place. Yeah. So. Maya would have had to have left the room, I guess, for that to be true. But also, I feel like both of these would have had to have been true. Um. Yeah, I'm going to guess. Okay, so. Presuming that this is. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's, it's one of these. 
I'm I'm kind of leaning towards Maya had left the room. Yeah, but when would if it's not Maya, then somebody else would have had to have entered at some point in time. You know, maybe Lotta missed the scan also. You know. Or I guess if she had left, then they just snuck her in afterwards, I guess. But we walked in there, and there was somebody that wasn't Maya that was there. We got pictures of it. Maybe, or, maybe or there the aren't clothes actually, came from somebody else. Wait, yeah. maybe Maya's still there, and the clothes came from somebody else. No, no hold, hold on, hold on. Maybe, maybe there is only one key. And so therefore, Maya would have had to have left. Because it ended up elsewhere. Let's go with Maya. Yeah, Let's go okay. with Maya left. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Maya had left the channeling chamber at some point. And the defense can prove this. Uh, we can. Oh, how a foolish fool makes a foolish face while dreaming foolishly foolish fool fool. Maya Faye being locked in... <laughs> uh, yeah. Maya Faye was being locked, looked after... Wow, I'm, I'm losing <clears throat> it. Too many fools, dude. Maya Faye was being looked after by her aunt, Morgan Faye. The chances of her leaving the crime scene is lower than that detective's salary. Hey. <laughs> anyway, Aww. let's see some evidence. Prove that from the murder until the time of the arrest, the defendant had left the room. Okay. I think it's this because we saw Pearl with the key before yes. the time of arrest. So the key had to leave. I think that's it. Because yeah. none. Of, well, also the rest of the evidence is not. Do shit not it, Chief. Yeah. I, I think it's got to be this. Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I've seen it. Hey, that's the channeling chamber key, right? Before the channeling started, Maya locked the door from the inside with that. So the defendant herself locked the door? Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get the door open. The key's the only one of its kind, after all. One of a kind, you say? Mm. Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes? Looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? Ha! Huh? What do you mean? I could sense Maya keys. Faye locked herself in. Then the key should have been with her. Uh, yes, agreed. However, she did not have any key at the time of her arrest. Ah, well ain't that a key. How come you're holding it? I got this as a present from a certain little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time. Oh, wow, wow, that's wow, crazy. Wait, that kid's a thief? That's messed up. That's, that's, that's preposterous. This means that Maya Faye must have left the room. If she had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you. No. That or be, could be like a, a copy or something. Yeah. Where's the magic man? It seems we have come to an impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. However, is this person the defendant or not? The defense is arguing that this person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof this key has been submitted as evidence. Miss Von Karma. How can this be? This point in time, a verdict on the defendant's guilt is not possible. My perfect case. How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Don't think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm a prodigy. I've never lost a case. And I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom to a fool like you. I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is all. Court is adjourned. What do you think he's late for? Um, his bald head shaving <laughs> club. It's every day at 1.30. <clears throat> June 21, 1.32 PIM. District Court, courtroom lobby. Uh, defendant lobby, number three. More like every Sunday at 2 p.m., just like the Ray 2 streams. Wow! That was you, Pearly? You summoned my sis? Yeah! I feel I had 
had no choice. I don't like that she just like says that with like the most that like face. neutral expression. Make going pearly. I knew you were special. Hey Nick, did you know? Um, yeah, it's not like anyone else in there could have done that. Hmm, Nick. I know you're trying really hard and all, but I really don't remember ever leaving that room. I don't think there's a third person could have gone into that room. Well, yeah. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like, what happened in that room, for instance? Yeah, I'm counting on you. I envy the two of you! <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, Nick, uh, do you think you could take Pearly back home for me? Uh, sure. Alright, Pearls. You ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? A tick cat? Oh, poor thing. So sheltered. To be, to be continued. continued.